Hey, it's Dave from CG Shortcuts. Today, we're going to do this. We're going to create this abstract ring in Cinema 4D. Okay, let's start things off by setting up the scene. We'll go up to our render settings and change this to 1920 by 1080 and we'll do 25 frames a second. Let's also go down here and make sure our project settings are 25 frames a second. If you don't see that menu, you can press Ctrl D to bring that up. Let's give our timeline a few more frames. Let's set that to 100. And now we can start building this ring. Let's click up here and add a null and a cylinder. We'll drag that cylinder into the null and we want to see the geometry here. So let's turn on the lines in the display option. Now we can see those edges. Let's set the radius to 100, the height to 1100 and the height segments to 20. Let's zoom out a little bit. Now we don't want this many edges around here, so let's bring the rotation segments down. I think three should probably do us. Okay, so that's the basic shape that we're after. We want to twist this and bend it around on itself. So while we have our cylinder selected, let's come up here and bring in a deformer. We'll use a twist. Let's hold shift while we click that so it becomes a child of our cylinder. Let's twist that around 360 degrees in the angle. And we're pretty much halfway there already. Let's go back up here and select our cylinder. We'll head over to the create menu again, and this time we'll add a bend deformer. Make sure you hold shift again so it's a child of the cylinder. We just want to make sure the twist is above the bend in the hierarchy here. That way it'll affect it after the twist. Let's make the strength of this bend 360 degrees as well. And now we've got our ring shape. All we need to do now is animate this bad boy and clone some geometry across the surface to make it extra cool. To do that, we'll just need to adjust our hierarchy here. Let's pull those guys out and we'll pop them underneath so everything is a child of the null. That way we can animate our cylinder without affecting the two deformers, as you can see here. Let's set that back to zero and set a keyframe. Then we'll scooch over to frame 100 and add another keyframe, this time for negative 359 degrees. We want to loop this animation, so let's make sure our F curves are nice and straight. We'll grab those and set it to linear, that button there. Now if we close that and play that back, it should loop nicely. There we go, looking good. Let's stop that there and we'll come up here to the MoGraph menu and add a cloner. And we need something to clone, so let's bring in a sphere for this one. That's probably a bit too big. Let's grab it and change the radius down to 25 centimeters and we'll make that a child of the cloner. Let's grab our cloner and under the object tab, we want to set the mode to object. Then we'll drag our cylinder into the object section here. Okay, we don't have many vertexes to work with, so let's set the distribution to edge. And we've got a few more here, that's nice. The balls aren't completely covering the surface here yet, so we might have to subdivide this. Let's grab our cylinder and add a subdivision surface while holding Alt, so it becomes a parent of our cylinder. The problem with that is it tends to smooth things out too much. We don't want to lose the triangular shape of our ring. But I have a sneaky trick to fix that. Let's first put these guys down to one and just ignore that it's having trouble refreshing. Let's grab our cloner and replace the cylinder with our new subdivision surface. And that's now looking very close to what we want. Let's play that back and it's not quite right yet. It's looking a bit too round for my liking. But our little trick to fix that is pretty simple. All we have to do is click on our subdivision surface again and change the type to open subdiv bilinear. And there you go, job done. Let's play that back. Very cool. That's it for this tutorial. As usual, if you want to save a bit of time, you can download the project file below. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. Or you can leave a like or dislike. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell icon for more videos and free stuff. Catch you next time.